Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In this video, we're going to be going over on how to create this vending machine that shoots out soda cans when you interact with it. And in this video, I'll be using the Cinti Asset Polygon Town Pack, which is going to include our soda can and vending machine. If you don't want to get this, um, feel free to just, you can just use different actors like a cube and a sphere and so on. Like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. If you want to support my channel, the Patreon's in the link below. Thanks for watching and let's get started. So the first thing on what you're going to want to do. First thing you want to do is right click, create a new blueprint class, and we'll create it under as child of our interactable, our BP underscore interactable that we created in our last video. And let's call this Let's call this vending machine and we'll create another one. Blueprint, pro another blueprint of our BP interactable. And I'll call this BP underscore soda. So now in our vending machine, actually let's start off with the soda can. In our BP soda, we're just going to add a static mesh of a soda. And I will call this soda and I'll go ahead and add that can as my static mesh and I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees because when it comes out of the vending machine it's they usually just fall sideways oh it's open rip whoever buys this and then another thing I'm going to want to do is when I'm clicked into my static mesh so make sure your static mesh is highlighted. We're gonna to wanna to simulate the physics. So under here, under physics, there's a simulate physics option. You can just check that up. You can just check mark that. And the reason why we're doing that is just because we want the soda to be more lively, interact with the environment. We're gonna add an impulse on it. So it's just gonna shoot out of the vending machine. And we're going to be So I'll go ahead and close that out. I'll compile, save, close this out. And now I will create the vending machine. And in our vending machine, I'm going to add a, you guessed it, a vending machine as our static mesh. So I'll call this vending machine. And I'll also add a scene component, which is gonna be right here under utility. And I will call this soda shoot. And this is going to be our spawn point of where the sodas, where the soda actor is going to spawn from and shoot out from. So I'll hit compile and save. And now in our event graph, what I'm going to want to do is double click our interact interface that we made in our last video. And we're going to drag this out and get spawn actor from class. And I'll highlight over, if you want to straighten out the line, you can just highlight over your nodes and then hit Q on your keyboard to even it out. And for the class, I'll select that BP soda that we created. And now for the spawn transform. So this is basically just going to tell it where we want to spawn from. We can't directly connect our scene component because the type are not the type is not compatible since this is the transform and the soda shoot the scene component. Since the soda shoot is a scene component and this is a transform, so what we're going to want to do is drag out our soda shoot and get world transform. And now this will pretty much just get our location of the scene component, which is soda shoot, and we can return the value into our spawn transform. And now we'll, after we spawn the actor of our soda class, of our soda can, we will just add an impulse.
We'll just add an impulse. But instead of dragging the top one, I actually want to drag the return value to add an impulse. And now it'll know that our target is the soda can. I'm just going to straighten out these lines and I'll straighten out these. Pull to close. Okay, perfect. And now I'll go ahead and connect these two, these two nodes. And I also want to split my struct for the impulse. And now this is going to tell what direction and how much force is going to be applied. So for the Y axis, I'm going to do 1000. And for the Z axis, it's, I want to do, I'll do 200. This is going to give it a little height when it shoots out instead of going straight diagonally down. So I'll go ahead and hit, and hit compile and save. And now when I go back to my map, I actually forgot to add the vending machine. So now in my viewport, under the vending machine static mesh, I'm going to go ahead and look for my vending machine. So I'll add this. And for the soda shoot, you're going to be able to define where this is going to come from. So my soda shoot is going to spawn right around here, where the dispenser is. So I'll put it a little higher and so on. I just want it to be a little right outside the vending machine. So this looks pretty good. Maybe a little higher. Just so it looks like it's coming out from the top side of it. And I'll hit compile and save. Now in my third person map, I'll drag the vending machine out and I'll have my character interact with it. So let's play test this. So when I hit control P to play, I'll click E next to it. And you're gonna see soda cans start flying out. The more I click it, the more cans that come out. And yeah, that's pretty much how you get your vending machine to shoot out sodas, or I guess empty soda cans. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to Code with Row. If you want to see any specific tutorials next, let me know in the comments below. If you want to support my channel, my Patreon's in the link below. Just subscribing, viewing, and giving me comments and likes and all that isn't more than enough to support the channel. Don't ever feel the need to. Don't ever feel forced to subscribe to my Patreon. Ugh, I should leave that out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.